Winnipeg is known for its diverse restaurant selection, boasting one of the best food scenes in the country. For the past 15 years, Chow Magazine has encouraged Winnipeggers to explore the city's dining experiences over 11 days in chilly February with one of the hottest food events of the year. To tell us more, I'm joined by Chow Magazine publisher Lori Hughes. Good afternoon, Lori. Good day. Oh, it's a, it's a pleasure to have you here in the studio. I just want to begin by saying congrats on 15 years. That's that's quite the accomplishment. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm proud of that. It uh, What can I say? It goes by fit quickly. Yeah, we were, we were just chatting off the air, and it's amazing how it's just another year, another mm-hmm. Dine About Winnipeg experience. This started in 2003. Uh, Chow Magazine was kind of in its infant years, I suppose. It, it launched in 97. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering, what inspired you of all the months of the year to pick February to highlight all of these restaurants here in our great city? Well, it's because it's February. That was strategic. Yeah. And, um, you know, there aren't uh, a lot of original ideas out there. This was a borrowed one that um, that we that we tracked back to New York, and they had a restaurant week that corresponded with a Democratic convention. Huh. And it was designed to bolster the restaurant industry in New York at a time of year, or, um, to compensate the stereotype that the restaurants were off limits and they were out of hmm. reach for uh, from a price point. So other restaurants um, and other cities took that idea and ran with it in their own. And um, and that's exactly what we did as a way of turning a time of year that, that diners sometimes need a little extra cajoling <laughs> to get out of their houses, start their cars, and to uh, to brave it. And, and you know, it was, it's not a terribly hard sell because we're we're a tough stock here in Winnipeg. We definitely are. It's a little little test of Winnipeg hardiness mm-hmm. uh, and one that I'm sure we're all, we're all up for. So, so over the years, how has Dine About Winnipeg changed? Well, it has evolved. We have yeah. um, different players, different restaurants participating each year, mm-hmm. along with uh, some that have been participants throughout all of the years. We've got a few that have uh, have been consistent. Um, this year, we've added a culinary event series within the Dine About um, hmm. excitement. So during Dine About days, we have five restaurants that are offering a special event that they are selling um, for, for people to see even a different side of their restaurants. So things that wine pairing dinners or whiskey pairing or beer pairing. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a tapas and talent night at Nicolino's. That was nice. one of them. So all of that, all of the uh, information is on our on our website, website chowwinnipeg.com. But that's certainly one of the ways that um, the, the event has changed. This, that's brand new this year. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned a few of the restaurants. How many are participating this year in 2018? We have 24 restaurants. Wow. And some of those restaurants are offering menu items, dine about offers for lunch and dinner. Nice. Others are offering for dinner only. So, you know, it ends up that you have a lot of options over the course of that 11 days. Well, well speaking of options, I, I know there are different price points. Can you speak a little bit more to that idea? There, there are three different tiers, right? Right. Restaurants can um, participate at an $18 price point, 28 or 38 And some restaurants are coming in at a few price points as well, depending on whether it's lunch or dinner or just giving their diners an option. And um, regardless of the price point, restaurants are also offering all kinds of options for their guests. So they have a selection of appetizers to choose from, as well as entrees and even desserts. What kind of feedback have you gotten from from both restaurants and, and the diners who, who have that experience of, of trying perhaps one or maybe several restaurants over the course of 11 days? Oh, well, it's win-win all the way, yeah. ar- way around, right? Everybody <laughs> loves it. The restaurants love seeing new guests. They love um, the fact that it acts as a customer appreciation mm. period for guests that already have discovered them and, and are fans of theirs. Um, we have had a lot of feedback um, in our office from people that have discovered Dine About Winnipeg and have discovered a number of restaurants in mm. that. Mm-hmm. In You know, they're, they're just um, using it as a, a as a chance to get out and try a number, four or five restaurants is not uncommon. And they're trying new restaurants, they're trying new dishes, they're mm-hmm. trying new flavors, they're trying new dishes they don't, they they haven't, they aren't able to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is this? Mm-hmm. Um, and it also gives uh, restaurants, I think, the opportunity to explore new menu items, perhaps as well, right? Like they get to do that uh, that, that same idea of, of e- exploration. Well, absolutely. Lots of restaurants have used it as a test to mm-hmm. launch new mm-hmm. menu items. Um, one restaurant this year, uh, Brazen Hall, which is new in the market and new to the dining 
online about Event uh, as well. They're using the event as an opportunity to launch a new meat feast ah. that they are going to be running with. Nice. So again, the details of that, those things are on our website. So yeah, it absolutely does give a chance to try new things. Uh, so just one last time before you go, I just want to ask you, where can people head for more information about Dine About Winnipeg? Sure. Well, two things. I'm always eager to send people to um, to discover our magazine. Yes, so of in course. the in the um, uh, in the February March issue of Chow, which is available in the specialty food stores, the private wine stores. That's mm-hmm. one way. Um, they can they can also do it on a screen and have a look at ChowWinnipeg.com. The menus are up there. The information about the culinary events, all the restaurants that are participating are uh, on the website as well. Lori, I want to thank you so much for coming by the Classic 107 studio on this blustery day. Thanks so much for popping by. I love this day. (laughs) Yeah, it really is wonderful. Uh, You just heard Lori Hughes here in the Classic 107 studio, the publisher of Chow Magazine, whose celebration of Winnipeg's culinary scene kicks off Thursday, February 1st. Dine About Winnipeg runs through the 11th and features more than 20 restaurants. For more information, as you heard Lori say, visit chowwinnipeg.ca.